Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the channel. In this video, well, I haven't gotten a lot done. Uh, you ever have your kids go on vacation, your adult kids go on vacation, and ask if you can watch their dogs for them? Yeah, sure, not a problem. We got a fence yard, and in the next breath, as they're dropping them off, they say, oh, by the way, the puppy might come in heat. Oh, really? Oh, cool, thanks. Well, you can't say no because the grandkids are going with them and it's a big deal, so. That's how my week's been going. So, let's get, I gotta get the dents out of the roof, get the insulation in, and get the wiring done for the dome light, get that changed out. That's about as far as I got. But that's this video, check it out. So I got the headliner out and all the old insulation down and scraped off. I wiped it all down with uh, wax and grease remover. Before I put in new insulation back up, there's a bunch of miscellaneous little dents in the roof here where somebody was climbing around on at some point in time. So I'm going to work on getting most of those out. Get a bunch of them out so I can put the headliner in and not feel guilty about it. Got a dolly with a slight curve, probably that one there, just enough to kind of match the radius a little bit. Put the light on it at an angle so I got a better, uh, better view of it. I'll hammer off Dolly a little bit. Pushing up on the low spot and tapping down on the high spot. All right, so I got all the dents out of the roof, good enough, and wiped all this down with uh, wax and grease remover. Went to my Amazon delivery today to get the Kilomat ins insulation, and I remembered, oh yeah, when I went on Amazon to get it, they didn't have any. Looked again today, they still don't have any. They got little tiny, tiny packs. So I thought, well, okay, I'll uh, I'll be cheap. Nobody will see it. I'll use Amazon's stuff. When you get Amazon stuff, wow, is it obnoxious? Look at that. I'm glad that's going to be covered up. It's ugly. Let's see here. Of course, I got these big giant panels. Oh, well, I get the small ones. It'd be easy to work with. I got these big giant ones. That'll probably work out pretty well, actually. Okay. So, this stuff stays for a while and eventually falls off. I'm going to be unhappy. Ah. Oh, yeah. Might as well be awkward, right? I don't have it stuck in my face yet. <laughs> eh. 
They used to put it on with a regular. They sell a special roller, I'm sure. It's just a wallpaper roller. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Amazon not carrying Kilomat anymore. I bought it at, at Summit before, but man, it's expensive there. Plus, you got to pay for shipping. That's it. Close enough. What's next? We got to clean all these staples, pull all this weather stripping, and redo the wiring. Hmm. For a simple job, it keeps getting bigger. Now that I got the insulation all done, it changed out these wires. They're probably all right, but while I'm here, I'm going to change them out anyway. I got two going down here. <clears throat> going to this loom. These are the old tail lights. They've been abandoned. I ran them a different way. So these can go bye bye. So I'm just running. Yeah, looks like two wires down there to replace those. Reuse these same old clips. Shouldn't be too tough. And then got another wire that runs from here. Where is it? There it is. One single wire runs down to the switching a door that turns the dome light on. So let's get those wires changed out. <laughs> I 
I'm hoping I can latch onto them down here and pull them and just fish them through. But in order to do that, I got to stand on my head. So I was able to just pull out the the uh, interior light switch out of the jam. Wires right there. It's there. Well, it runs down in between the metal. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Well, let's see. I'm going to fish two wires at the same time, so we got to do it once. So I only have one roll of long black wire. So I pulled off enough that's going to make it. And I put some red tape on this one, on this end, half of it. Double it over. And I'm going to tape it together here and pull it down through the A pillar. It goes into a hole and disappears down here. Should be able to just pull it right on down through. I'm hoping. See how well it works. It's coming. There it is. Cool. Now I just cut that off where I got it pulled. And I got my new wire coming down. All right. And I can take this wire and put it back in the same clips. I could run it in the loom. I'm not really worried about it. I probably should run it in the loom. I probably will run it in the loom. It's going to go to there. To that much. All right. Uh, Let's we'll see if I have some wire loom. Well, wire loom I don't have, but I do have a lot of electrical tape. So I'll just give it all a wrap in electrical tape. So instead of wrapping this in electrical tape, I found this heavy cloth, used to call it friction tape. I think this was still what they call it. But, uh, so it's wrapped in electrical tape, and then I wrapped it in the friction tape, so that'll protect it pretty darn well. It's a lot like it was uh, the under, under hood stuff originally, in that cloth tape. So, a wrapping we will go, a wrapping we will go. So I got most of that wrapped. Got the wire sticking out here for the the uh, little door button. I put this wire back up here, being all replaced. All right. Almost cut myself short. That'll work. I got enough. So, then I just run another wire down the other side, down the other door post the same way. That's pretty easy. That's a single wire. Those are only grounds. All I do is run a hot lead up here and wire the switch. So, uh, 
Then I can start working on the headliner. So that'll be next. I'll get going on that. But that'll be the next video. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.